The Hawk aircraft's maiden flight was in August 1974. It lasted 53 minutes and reached a height of 20,000 feet, heralding the launch of the world's most successful military training aircraft. And five decades on, the Hawk is still in service and flown by the Red Arrows. In honour of its 50th anniversary, David Wilson Holmes launched an exhibition at their new Hawkview development in Bruff, next to the former BAE Systems runway. Most Air Force around the world strive to be as good as uh, our own RAF. So really, you know, the fact that the UK has always chosen Hawk uh, has been massive for us, you know, in those export campaigns. The basic platform, you know, is, is a really good aircraft to fly. It's very forgiving. Um, you know, it's great for teaching, you know, young pilots how to operate. Um, but then it's really that how we've kept that current with the, you know, the mission systems upgrades to the type of software that we're putting into it. It really does equip them, you know, for those frontline fighters such as Typhoon and F-35. Former staff members who worked on the Hawk shared their memories of the iconic plane at the event. I first experienced the Hawk in 1986 and the cockpits which I learned to build. When you see the red arrows go over, no matter where you see them in the world, very, very fortunate. And it gives me a little smile and I just think I've been part, be a small part, of the 50 years of the manufacturing of the Hawk. Because it seems to have been around forever and it's the best training aircraft ever in the world, as proved by its sales figures, it's just such an iconic little aeroplane I and mean, it just does everything that it's meant to do so well. It was for a time the only aircraft within BAE systems that was being designed and built and supported from one site. BAE systems stopped manufacturing parts for the Hawk in 2020 but still support the aircraft. We work on the Hawk, but the mission planning and the mission systems. So it's more software based and kind of what they do for um, planning of the missions for training and kind of showing like, how you would fly a certain path and stuff like that. The company are currently working on engineering projects, including Tempest Next Generation Combat Aircraft and the Dreadnought Ballistic Submarines. Anna Riley, GB News, Bruff.